When we are creating new content for our project, we usually know what to write about it. And we know also which content is the best for our users. However, we don't know exactly the keywords that we need to cover in that content. Which are the search terms that will ensure organic performance and reflect the user search online? I am Eric Casagrande and in this video I will show you how to find and decide which are the best keywords for our content. I will use an example of content related to hiking boots. Let's pretend that I have a website that sells gears for outdoor activities and my goal is to help my clients to decide how to buy the best hiking boots. But which are the main keywords that I need to focus on when writing this content? Let's use the keyword magic tool and find out. I'm starting with a more general search term to check what the tool suggests to me. So, I keep the search for related keywords because I still want to get more ideas. And check it out! Even though the keyword hiking boots has a good volume of search, the keyword hiking shoes also has a very interesting volume. I will add this keyword to my list as well. I can also see that hiking boots for men and hiking boots for women have a good volume of search, but a lower keyword difficult. These ones I need to include in my content for sure. Let's check the questions. Again, I can see that hiking shoes search term might be interesting to cover in my article. Check it out this question about how long hiking boots last. I like that and it can enrich my content. Now that I have a better perspective, I will focus on keywords that better attend my user intent. This content will probably be read by someone who already decided to buy a hiking boots. However, they still don't know which one to choose. This is the perfect case of a commercial intent. Let's filter it. In addition to the keywords that I have selected before, I can see some searches a bit more specific, like best hiking boots for men and also for women. Searches related to season, like winter or related to snow. This search term, hiking boots reviews, also called my attention and it's a good one to cover. And you can see that I am also taking into consideration the keywords with low keyword difficulty. This balance between volume and difficulty to rank is key to having a high potential traffic performance. And I won't consider the search terms with any brand name because I will cover them anyway when reviewing the best hiking boots, so I can skip that for now. So let's see how our list ends up. In the Keyword Strategy Builder, I can access the list that I have created. Here I see that my keywords are basically with commercial intent, which is great for this case. For me, it's clear that between hiking boots and hiking shoes, I will prioritize hiking boots because the keyword difficulty is lower. But I do need to write and have the hiking shoes keywords also mentioned in my article, because they have a high volume of search, they will just not be my main keyword. I will also focus on the best hiking boots for women and best hiking boots for men. Probably this will be a subtitle or a new section in my article. I need also to cover the waterproof aspect in another subtitle too. That's it! Based on the two suggestions and in the filters for commercial intent, we managed to find the best keywords for this article. Always take into consideration the volume and the keyword difficulty. By the end, we have this. Main keywords, hiking boots and best hiking boots reviews. Secondary keywords, those keywords that we need to cover with consistency and information. Hiking boots for women, hiking boots for men, waterproof hiking boots. And it's also important to cover some answers for how should hiking boots fit, how long the hiking boots last, how to choose hiking boots. Finally, we need to remember that hiking shoes should also appear in the text sometimes because it has a good volume of search. Like this, with a good writing and a great information, it's very likely that this article will first perform for the keywords with lower difficulty and a few weeks later perform also for the main keywords with higher volume. Now it's your turn to find your best keywords for your business. Take care, see you on top!